This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out online. Good morning. It is a lovely winter morning, but um, I'm just way too excited to get my courtyard ready for spring. So I'm starting my spring preparations in the middle of July. Alrighty, so when it comes to plants, that I obviously need to wait for the weather to get a little bit better, but the one thing I really want to focus on now is furniture. I don't really have furniture in here. I have like these little chairs and I used to buy them for my old balcony where I had very little space. But now that I have a little bit more space available, I want to have proper outdoor furniture out here so I can spend more time out here and really make the best out of the courtyard. So first things first, we're going to go furniture shopping. Alrighty, we have gotten to our first destination. Hi Timmy. Hi guys. So we are obviously first things first, we gotta check out what Bunnings has on offer. We've done a little bit of investigation online uh, into furniture and yeah, that didn't really help. So I think we need to look at things in person. I wanna sit in it, I wanna sit on it and see what it feels like <laughs> before I buy anything. But I want it to be nice uh, because I finally have space for some nice furniture and I don't want it to be too bulky and I don't want it to be white because I think it's just going to get really dirty. So it needs to be more on the dark side. I want wood as well. I don't want like plastic. So I want wood with dark cushions, not too big, but also not too small. So don't worry, I don't have all too many wishes. <laughs> don't worry, my wish list is not long at all. So let's have a look at what Bunnings has on offer. By the way, I took it off the gimbal. I just thought, I just feel so weird. Like the gimbal is huge. I feel so awkward walking around with that gimbal. Like I'm working in television or something like that. It's just like, no, it's just for my YouTube channel. It's just me. Anyway, let's go into the garden center. Alrighty, so here we are in the furniture section. It definitely needs to be like, oh, by the way, this is the plant section. <laughs> A lot of people ask me what Bunnings looks like. This is what Bunnings looks like. Okay. So it definitely needs to be like a lounge set. Something like this. Oh, this one is not bad. Timmy is liking this one. I hate this one. I want one with armrests. The list gets longer. Now armrests are also non-negotiable. Oh. I think it's like no, uncomfortable. What did you, oh, oh, there you go. There's some wooden, ah, but this is huge. I mean, this is really pretty, but I don't think it suits my place. I like the rounded corners. It's too big for my space, way too big. And that's it. So they don't have all too much on offer. They obviously have heaps more online. Just a small selection over here. Oh, what's that one? Kind of like we just walked past that one, huh? So this is modular. Yeah, but it's huge. Yeah, I was just thinking that. But I like that it's not as bulky down below. Three seater. Yeah, me and all of my two imaginary friends can fit on here. It's also really uncomfortable. Okay. Not happy. Let's move on to what we know, plants. Let's have a look at these. Oh, look at that, painted ladies. Now been tissue cultured. Not in sunny eyes. Oh. The moment you realized you're supposed to look into noise cancellation on your microphone and you forgot and you're now somewhere where, like, I don't want to experiment with it now. Damn it! Note to self, look into noise cancellation. Okay, some more plants over here for you. Oh, I bought one of those, so pretty. Alrighty. Bunnings was not a success. They have a much bigger variety online and I saw some that I like online as well, but I don't know. It's 
I want to I want to see what it looks like in real life they give you dimensions online and so on but that's not really good enough and I want to sit on it <laughs> I want to see what it feels like uh, so unfortunately they didn't have the one that I liked the most online in store um, anyway we're walking to like this other place that's just right next to Bunnings that has a bunch of different furniture stores so we're trying to get lucky over there guys look at this how cool are these little display units that would make such a cool display for a plant I mean it's just plastic right so imagine just to showcase like a plant obviously not in purple at the bottom but quite unsuccessful at the next store as well they had hardly anything in stock because it's not really the season right it's winter probably the only person out here hunting for outdoor furniture but before we keep going with the video let's hear from today's sponsor Squarespace Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website to engage with your audience and reach new audiences at the same time over the last month I have used Squarespace to build a website on my own and it was such an easy and enjoyable journey. First, I start with one of Squarespace's professional website templates and then customize the look to suit my purposes and needs. Secondly, I can then add further pages to my website or add further elements to existing pages on my website, adding more information via text boxes, images or even videos. Every time you add something new to your website, you can use Fluid Engine. It's basically a drag and drop system to move things around and adjust things to make sure that your audience has a good experience using your website. And then thirdly, once you're ready and published your website, Squarespace is going to provide you with insights. It's great insight to know how people came to your website in the first place or where the people that access your website live. I found it pretty cool to see that people all around the world have accessed my website to learn a little bit more about Moss Pulse. Now, if you want to learn more, head over to squarespace.com slash sydneyplantguy or click the link in my description. And you will also get 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain using my discount code sydneyplantguy. Thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video, but let's get back into it. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I could do this. Feels natural. Ooh, ooh, this one's pretty. Please don't be. Uh, sold as is as well. Yeah. You just need to get a van, huh? Yeah. Well, you can still get it delivered. It's beautiful. Right, this is my new favorite. Doesn't. It's kind of everything that I didn't ask for earlier, but i'm just worried about with uh, with the trees above that these white cushions just gonna get so filthy so quickly and i'm just gonna spend all day cleaning hang on what the what is this oh my god i need this in my life look you put the plant in there and then it comes with this so you can put some like a uh, you know like a star jasmine mm. how much is that okay i do not need this in my life after all Oh, Timmy, there's one in dark. Oh, 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 I like this one even better. Oh, that's the three-seater, it's just 17. Oh. Oh, the armchair is 800 bucks each. How much? 800 each. Oh, it's comfy. It's very nice. I like this. And I like that it's dark and I like that it's wood. It's super comfy. It's just out of budget. Uh, I don't know why, like I can literally go through a store and I will always pick the most expensive as the one that I like the most. <sighs> but that's okay, we'll find an alternative. It's not about how much money you spend on it, it's about if it fits the space. And it's gonna look a million bucks. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I like this or not. It looks too formal, the one oh. behind you. Is this yeah. too formal? So this, for example, like is actually more my style, but I just don't think it fits my space. I don't think the metal kind of works. It looks too modern. Same as like with like this sort of white stuff. It looks very modern, very simplistic, 100% my style. But I don't think it fits my place. Like, you know, my place is more organic and a little, you know, with the wooden fence and all the green. It's like an urban jungle. It's not super minimalistic anymore. It's definitely, Lush, hopefully. Um, 
So that's why I thought going with an organic material, going with wood instead of uh, white uh, would be nice. This is our favorite so far. Should we ask for delivery now? Mm. Righty, unfortunately unsuccessful here as well. Well, not fully unsuccessful. I actually found a new favorite. Uh, nicer than anything we found online. I don't even know what the store was called. So I've got a new favorite. It's quite pricey though, but it already comes assembled. <laughs> so, um, kind of hits all the marks, but there's a couple more places around here that we're gonna go to next, check out if they've got something better. And then I'll make up my mind. I'm usually a very decisive person. Like if I see something and I like it, I don't contemplate all too much. So I feel like we could make a decision today. All right, we're at the next destination and look, they have some good plants. So this place is called Outdoor Elegance, I think, and they seem to have a lot. So let's have a look. Oopsie. Um, this might be out of my price range, but that's okay. We can look for inspiration. Oh, this is the one we saw online <laughs> and it was my favorite until I saw the price tag. Yes, this is definitely more premium. Alrighty, another unsuccessful one. Very pretty, but a lot of them way out of budget. And the ones that were in budget weren't comfortable enough. So let's go to the next place. All right, we're at the next place. I think they don't have much outdoor furniture, but they have some home decor thing, but they have a lot of beautiful plants and I feel like I needed to show you those so I'm sure it's still plant as planty as it can be today even though we're furniture shopping look how pretty oh, look the other cages it's called the palms e-tree nursery and home so I'm after the nursery and the home part not hungry yet all right so let's go for a browse i drove past this place a couple of times uh, never went in so i thought today today is the day why not i'm not am i planning on buying a plant i don't have to plan on buying a plant to buy one just do it. That's what I love about being a grown-up. I can just do whatever I want. <laughs> if I want to buy 800 plants, then I will. Look at this beautiful, beautiful gardening. All the bromeliads. Got some bananas. So this is definitely the place you go if you want established plants for your garden look at this bismarck palm cannot wait for mine to get that big Ooh, steep That's a really cool ficus, huh? What is this? Oh, Demeropsis. That's the one from uh, we saw at the Botanic Gardens as well. Wow, look at these displays. That is so cool. I definitely need to do something like that. 
let's do that together. Look at this. That's so pretty. Look at what I found. This has some like red and green variegation. And it seems to be fading over time because none of the old ones have it, but all of the newer ones have it. I don't even know what's the name of this plant. What? That's a red, red Congo? I thought it would be like all red like this. Oh, it is the same plant. That's cool. That's a cool batch of plants. I don't know. Let me know if this is normal. Final destination. That last place was really nice, right? I mean, they didn't have any furniture, but the plants were amazing. Um, and funny, I asked them for Haliconias. They're getting some Haliconias in September. And he asked me what suburb I live in because Haliconias can't handle it being too cold. So over here in Sydney, you literally, it depends on which suburb you live in. Um, and that depends on how cold or how warm it is. If you're closer to the ocean, it's milder, right? So it's not gonna get as cold in winter, it's not gonna get as hot in summer. So uh, I live quite close to the ocean. But it's funny when I get some comments, they're like, is Australia a windy place? Is Australia really hot? Or how cold can Australia get? Australia is huge. Even Sydney is huge. But then even within Sydney, like, like you know what I mean? Like, you could, we could both be living in Sydney and have completely different conditions, uh, which makes some plants thrive and some might not. So, um, it's really all about that little microclimate. Anyway, we're at the last place, it's called Flower Power. It's quite common over here in Sydney. I think we've got three or four of those across Sydney and they have a lot of amazing plants. So we're definitely gonna look at the plants, but they also have some furniture. So hopefully, and they have a huge sale on by the way. So hopefully we'll be successful over here. I like this one, but it doesn't have armrests. I really need armrests. My arms are so strong. What have you found, Timmy? You like this one? More or less. I think they're too bulky. I'll actually, I'll, no, I really like it actually. I think this should be a little lower, the table. It's not very comfortable though. What is it with outdoor furniture and not being comfortable? Right, let's go inside. They should have heaps. Oh, they do a lot of like design stuff as well. I really love this place. They also have a cafe. But let's walk through to the furniture. Ignore the plants for now. Hmm. Oh, that was my knee. <laughs> oh, I'm turning 30 this year, I'm getting so old. Oh, 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 hang on. I think we're having a winner. It's comfy. Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. No, but realistically, this is cool. This table. Oh, and this fabric can definitely not get wet though, right? It's really nice, but the cushions are, like it says outdoor undercover, which I don't have to offer. I like it, huh? I mean, and you can still lie down on it like this. Yeah. Like read a book. Yeah. And they're kind of small. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they're yeah. not as big because yeah. I do. I am worried about That's the size. I mean, the other one was nice that we saw. It was more elegant, the other one, the wooden yeah. one, right? Yeah. But it was another $900 Dollar. more expensive. Like for 900 bucks, I could get an umbrella and everything yeah. else. Actually, that's a good call. And the other one would have been larger as well, mm. taking up more this space. Would, I think more suited to the space. I think it's large enough to not look yeah. 
cheap, yeah. but it's small enough to I not be too cramped the, in, right? And it would be nice aerated as well in summer. Yeah. You can sit on it and yeah. like you could even in summer get rid of the cushion if you yeah. want back aeration. Maybe, maybe not. I think you're talking yourself into it. Um, but no, I like for 900 bucks, I can buy beautiful big pots yeah. to put the palms in for yeah, summer, yeah. right? Because I reckon this with nice pots next to it will look better than yeah. the other one with shit pots next yeah, to yeah. it. All right. Of course, we cannot be here and not look at a few plants. So let me take you through the planty part of this beautiful nursery. Hello, Doko. Oh, we saw those at the mall. I like these ones as well. I want to show you this. You know, we've been talking about tree fern. You can literally just take a chunk of tree fern, you pot it back up and it's just going to reshoot. Yeah, see this are the, now that I've had one, the golden cane palm in my last video, when I got it back, I was like, I have no idea what it is. And so many people are like, it's a golden cane. I'm like, okay, yeah, now that I know, I see them everywhere. This looks like the other palm I have, but uh, people told me a different name, but then their palms all look the same. How much does it cost? 10 bucks. Yeah, they're not dead. They're just gonna come back. Look at the mushrooms. Should we rescue a plant? It would be nice for the garden, yeah. like a little rescue. <sighs> this can't really be fucked right now. Next time. I know I will regret this. I know I will film a video. I wish I would have bought this big pot of alocasias. Let's just do it then. If I know we're gonna regret it, let's do it, okay. Exactly, for 10 bucks, it's a good find. Oh, they have a lot of... This one? Yes! I sure hope you know how to resuscitate. That's the goal. <laughs> it's more rewarding if you get something that's almost dead and you bring it back to life, if right? If you've got the knack for it, then fantastic. You're I'll give it a try. Part, I'll give it a try, you know? What is there to lose? Oh, I love this. Burgundy sunset. Damn, look at this thingy. Mm. Look at how dark it is. Project. Should we get one of those? Yeah, how much? Full sun. I can give them full sun, can't I? Yeah. Actually, let's wait for spring and we have like a little okay. garden arrangement. But I definitely want to have some natives in my garden for spring. So we'll be back. Success! All right, I bought it. It's going to get delivered on Tuesday. Now I need to find some pots for the plants. But realistically, I'm not going to pot them up until it's actually spring. So probably not for another two months. But I'm excited to have some furniture to sit on. Um, so whoop, I'll see you when it gets delivered and when I can build it. Yay! Good morning. So I got my furniture delivered during the week. It's finally the weekend, so I found some time to build it. Um, I'm not too sure where exactly I'm gonna put it. What I actually think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in a couple of different arrangements and I'm gonna ask you for your feedback down below to see what you think looks the best. But first, let me get rid of the existing furniture. This is a heater. There you go, that will stay. I don't use it all too often, but every now and then, you know, while it's cold, if I have friends over and we want to sit outside because I don't have that much room inside, it's quite nice to turn it on. Um, so I want to keep it, but I'll put it on the side for now. Righty, so we've got a bit of a blank canvas. Let me give it a sweep. And then once I've got the furniture in place, I'll also probably move some plants around. See how we go. I've got a feeling it's going to be pretty easy to build. I think it's pretty pre-assembled already. Alrighty, you guys are kind of in the way, so I'm going to have to put you on the side so I can move through with the furniture. One moment, please. Look at this big cardboard box we've got for you, baby. 
Are you excited? Alrighty, we're back. By the way, it's really noisy out there today. I hope the road noise is not too bad. But here we are, here's the piece of furniture. I mean, you've seen it all already, but I just wanted to let you know. I got it from a company called Flower Power. They're uh, like a popular garden center over here in Sydney. And uh, this is not sponsored. Pied for it all by myself. I'm such a grown man. I think this is the first time I got furniture that's not from Ikea or Kmart. I do actually feel pretty grown. All right. That's good. This is all the screws we've got. So it's a welcome change from the uh, <laughs> uh, greenhouse build. Oh, no, there's more screws. Bradley, I have a huge box for you. Whoa, let's start off with a chair. It seems easy enough. Guys, I keep saying it, it's all about the tools and I definitely have the wrong tools. If you just have the right tools, it makes life so much easier and that's literally for everything in life. Finally, wow. Okay, first chair done. I'll park it here. Oh, it's nice and warm suddenly. I'm so excited to have furniture out here. I mean, obviously the garden is all about the plants, but as with every space, it doesn't, to me, it's about like plants meeting my space. It still needs to be my space. I live here. I want to feel comfortable. I want to feel excited to invite people over and share my space with my friends. So to me, it's all about furniture as well. There's no point in having the most beautiful garden if you can't sit in it to enjoy it. So I'm really excited. That was like the one thing I really wanted to get since I moved in. Oh, hello, mister. You're joining us. <clears throat> I uh, just couldn't, it wasn't a priority because of winter approaching, but we had one nice warm day on the weekend and straight away my thoughts are just like, oh my God, summer's here. Are you liking the couch? Are you going to destroy the cushions, huh? You're going to destroy that side bit. That I know. And the same applies for the inside. Like, yeah, the inside. I love my inside. I love my inside. I love, <laughs> I love the inside of my apartment because of all the nice plants. But if I wouldn't have like a comfortable couch to sit on while I look at my plants or I don't have a nice desk to work on, I wouldn't enjoy it as much and I always enjoyed that even as a little kid I always wanted to rearrange get like furniture put it together myself now of course a lot of these things I can't do because I'm renting so really buying furniture is the best way for me to customize my place and furniture can make a huge difference to a space Yay, last bloody screw. Alrighty, my battery is also going to die soon. So let's get these cushions on here. Alrighty, one thing I need to consider when I put everything in place is how uneven my courtyard is. So you can already see this. So I might not be able to just put it, put the furniture exactly where I want them to be because they might be wonky. I mean, obviously I can kind of See if I can adjust some of the feet, put something under one of them, huh? but that might be something I do need to consider when making a decision. It's going to be hard to judge for you guys.
Now I wonder which cushion goes where. It must be. Honestly, I feel like I made the decision to buy this so quickly when we were going through the shops the other day. I hardly remembered what it looked like. And now that I see it, I like it. I would buy it again. Okay, I was thinking setup number one. Let's go super traditional. Okay, you know what? I think it's too sunny right now. I mean, not too sunny for me, but I think it's too sunny for you to get a good idea of the actual courtyard because some bits are in the shade, some bits are in the full sun. So it's a little hard to get a vibe. Oh, I mean, when I look through the viewfinder, it doesn't look like it looks in real life right now. And everybody not, or anybody who's taken some videos or footage before knows that direct sun is actually not great to take videos in. You want bright indirect light. Just like your Aeroid, I'll charge my camera and I wait for the sun to kind of move on so it's not so harsh. And then we can look at a few different arrangements. And then like, you know, I would put plants here, of course, I wouldn't just look at the back of the chair uh, and see what we like. But I mean, knowing me, it will probably change all the time anyway. But I thought it would be fun to try diff a few different options and get you to vote down below. So I'll see you soon. We're back. <laughs> Brett didn't like the box, but that's okay. Alrighty, so here we are with setup number one. Ignore all the plants. I haven't moved plants. Don't ignore this plant, but ignore the rest of the plants. I haven't moved the plants around. I just want to know where I put the furniture first and then I'll move the plants around to make it look good. So let me give you a close up on setup number A. Okay, the second setup, I'm thinking I'm going more sideways instead of this way. What I like about that setup A is that it kind of splits the space into two definitive spaces. That makes sense? So I still have like a yoga area over there where I can put my yoga mat and you know stretch in the morning. And this is setup number B. So it's a little bit more, have like a little bit more of a walkway here. It gives me nicer space for like a plant here and a plant there. Let me have a look at what it looks like from your perspective. Setup number B. I think I prefer this setup for now. I suppose it depends on what sort of like purpose I use it for as well. I like the opposing chairs, you know, if you have a conversation, it might be nicer. If I'm just chilling here by myself, this might be nicer. It is kind of slanting this way, so I am be good to lay down like this. Oh my God. Oh my God, summer can come, cannot wait. <sighs> I think I'll just leave it like this, just because I'm too lazy to move it back now. But you let me know in the comments if you like setup number A or setup number B. I'm going to stick to B for now and I'm going to try and move some plants around. Mm, that's pretty cool. I like that. Nah, I don't like it. need to find a nice pot for this Bismarck palm but I think it looks good here. I think I like this better. Alrighty, I like this. I think I'll leave it at this for now and obviously soon I won't need the heater anymore and I'm sure I'll play around with the plants a little bit but for now I actually love them hiding that uh, kind of hideous wall. And then it gives me like a green corridor over here and a green corridor over here. And in between, I have Jan space. It's a good success. Uh, but yeah, I would love to hear from you which setup you prefer. And yeah, leave it down in the comments below and I'll make sure to read all of them. Thank you so much for coming on this journey. I hope you also enjoy the end result and I will see you in my next video. Bye.